Hey guys, it's Zazed and here and in this video I'm gonna show you how to create a login form like this one. This is very simple, very basic, so you can register and it will create an account and a folder that does not exist. Uh, there we go, and it will store the username and password inside. So we will create one like that and we can also log in with this we successfully logged in there we go so we're gonna create this and yeah new project login tut. there we go so we need we need two buttons two buttons each we need a text box, two text boxes. Um, yeah, doesn't even matter. There we go. Two buttons, two text boxes, and we need label. Label. Username. Can be a bit longer here. And password, of course. There we go, this will be login. Login. And this will be... Uh, register. Uh, move these a bit. A short bit, tiny bit. There we go. Uh, just for the parents, I'm gonna remove these. Customize and stuff. I'm just gonna go to Windows location to center screen and not a resizable window. Uh, and also, I want... Not sizable, but fixed to... Oh, we can't, oh, of course, let's see. Like this one. There we go. Text here. Uh, login. And double click on register. Which will do uh, the form 2, which we have to create. So, I'll go here and then. Uh, I want to create a second form. Not a project, a form. Give me a form. Windows form. Form 2. Copy this here. Register. Sizable, fixed to window. This will be cancel. This will have the characteristics of a password. Uh, I said password form uh, text box. Same for this one here. Okay, so when we click register, what happens is var, oh no, no var, but form 2, form 2, equals new form 2, form 2, show. Uh, so, oops, what happened here? Okay. And right here on cancel this dot uh, no form one one equals new form one form one dot i no wait
one, two. There we go. And registering is easy. Try, try, try. Uh, we need imports for system. Uh, use using system.io imports catch mm. need this so try what do we try what do you think guys we try to First, uh, we try to write the file. Oops, the file. Uh, yeah. So, st uh, var. This is the stream writer. Stream writer equals new stream uh, system. Dot io. Dot stream writer. And then we go uh, C. This will be mine. C. Whatever. So I'll do this C plus text text box one dot text plus these and then we go uh, login dot id and this will be the file simple right I hope so now what happens next is that the stream writer uh, that the stream writer let me put myself on steam to Uh, away. There we go. So stream writer S B S W the right. S W the right. And we write text box one dot text plus a new line plus text box two dot text for the password. Different to the Visual Basic uh, form, this one is not safe. It's not encrypted. And of course. Closed stream writer. Uh, login ID, Steam Writer. Little. What can happen is right here you see the fourth from top to bottom directly not, not found. And this is the most time happening. So, uh, system dot director system dot System.io, sorry. But I directory not found exception. X. What happens here? Oh. What happens here is that message box appears, which tells us that folder not found you seem to no 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 it doesn't tell us anything it just creates a folder because oops because it's create it creates the folder for a new user so yeah so that's why if the folder doesn't exist, then we go system.io. 
directory dot create directory which will be created in C plus text box one dot text yeah it will like this and so next we copy and paste this again easy I hope so we go over to reading first uh, also we try try uh, a catch of course but first try var stream reader equals new system dot stream reader we copy not some common here but we copy this part this part okay sr dot no we need to make two variables will be public ones public string username and will be password username comes first that's why username equals sn dot read line so it's the first line and for the password equals star the bad thing is you can't say which line it should read I think you can't it just reads it just reads the next the next uh, the next line that's why it's uh, sometimes bad sometimes you wish to give it the line it should read but sometimes it's just easier like that I started that close because you save you save clicks uh, I mean like you have to write less try a little if username equals equals text box one text and password equals text box two dot text text then message box dot show Success. You are now successfully logged in. Explanation. What's wrong here? This is, of course, uh, wrong. But something else. No, not. I don't like that this is not colored. Hmm. Okay, no problem. Uh, yeah, else. We will do else. Mess, mess. What's with this comparing? Ah, oh, that's not good. Message box dot show. Error. This is the title, so this is the title of the message box. Just in case you don't know. Uh, I'm gonna explain it at the end, so... Uh, username or password is wrong. Username or password is wrong. Good. Uh, oops. Messed stuff up here. Catch system dot io dot directory knife not found 
Exception X. Message box that show. Uh, error. We could play a sound, but I don't remember the code for playing sounds on Windows. Ah. Uh, hmm. And, uh, user doesn't exist. I got a message here, but yeah, put it in silent mode. The user does not exist. Catch the error. So we can try it out now. I guess we can't just, we will try it out. So make a flipping, uh, first we test, test one, uh, just gonna use one, two, three, login. The user does not exist. Now we want to sign in, test one, one, two, three, register, it registers a user here. Right here we see test one. See the login data. I can actually close this. And now we can log in. Get my login form again. Uh, you're not successfully logged in. Very good. So this is basically it. Uh, you can style it a bit. I know this is uh, looking bad. So, yeah, you can style it a bit. I thank you for watching and see you guys next time. Peace out.